Hey my gorgeous Gemini, so you'll notice we've been demoted to the front room because my daughter's having a tutoring done in my office but I wanted to get these dailies out for you still so you've still got me in Betty so we're going to get you one from the Believe in Your Own Magic deck today so it's a bit of a different set up, you'll have to bear with me today you have dragons the number six, dragons, slay them all Gemini, what's going on with your dailies? I'm a Gemini. I actually feel like this at the minute, though. I don't think I'd be safe with a sword in my hand at the minute. So maybe it is about going into that queen king of swords energy. It's like that kind of boundaries and when things come in to attack, that type of thing. It's like you're ready just to slay them all. So it's very empowering, though. I do feel like it's a really empowering week for Geminis. So I am using my empowerment deck to get the three main cards. So for my Geminis, oh, this might be why. So we all know I have a love of Lilith. So Lilith, the protector, the divine feminine, the protector of women and children, even if you're a masculine, she protects the abused. So you may have been going up against narcissists, abusers, past trauma abusers. So maybe it is slaying your own demons and cutting the cords two people you know you've got that divine feminine energy you've got that lilith energy coming in with that fastiness and it's almost like she's saying stand up say no when you need to say no just scream shout just do what you need to do let it all out so but she's also carrying the serpent and the serpent spiritually is about shedding of a skin so it's almost like you're shedding something you're letting go of something because when a snake sheds it's constrained, that's why it sheds, it's so that it can actually grow, so you are growing in yourself, and you've got that Lilith, and that fasty energy, you know, you are ready, you are ready to bring it, if someone's bringing it to you, <laughs> you are ready, so then we have the throat chakra, yeah, Gemini, I feel, <laughs> I feel the throat chakra may be feeling a bit fast uh, it could be with the words always be careful how you speak to yourself but I always say as well always be careful how you speak to other people as well because words cast spells um, but I do feel like it's more boundaries within conversations I feel like you're going to have a lot more boundaries within your conversations and thinking about your words and saying no when you need to say no so it's a very um, not standoffish but you, you're not taking no shit you, you're on a day where you're not taking no shit we're on the fourth i forgot to say that at the beginning but we're on the fourth today because it comes out with a congratulations you've got my trunk card gemini you've been given your energy wings it's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others your experiences are your qualifications so maybe you do have a message you know, especially for people who've been through things that you are, uh, that you have, you know, experienced that type of thing. But I also feel like you've got a message to say to somebody. <laughs> so, where's Lilith here? Right, yeah, we're going up against masculine energy. Could be that feminine, that masculine type energy. Um, it is, I do feel like I'm talking to Gemini females today. And I feel like the divine feminine, the boundaries, that type of thing. I feel like you're being very careful about the masculines that are coming in or that are around you. I feel like you've just done, you've had enough. I feel like I'm reading for myself here. So the throat chakra is coming in with transformation brought in by Pluto. So Pluto actually goes direct on the 10th. So we're still in that Pluto retrograde and it looks like the, the next six days is... is uh, it's bringing in some kind of transformational energy for yourselves. So we've got the congratulations energy. It's almost like, bang, you've, you've kind of won the war in the sense of you've learnt the lesson, it ain't going to happen again. So we've got seeds being sown. The seeds have been sown and that in itself, that is, you're going to be congratulating yourself because then seeds are growing and I feel like you are the one that's growing. You are ready to slay the dragons. You're ready to slay your own demons. You're ready to slay anybody that's coming in with any ill intent. So I absolutely love that reading, Gemini. See you tomorrow.